This video will show you how to make a map that goes from one location to another in iMovie. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to your iMovie. If it's not in your desktop shortcuts, you can just go up to the search button here and type in iMovie. Enter. And that should um, pop it up for you. Once iMovie is open on your screen, you're going to want to go to the new button to create a new project and click on it. Once you've clicked on that, you can choose movie and click on that. Um, the theme doesn't really matter a ton because we're just going to do the opening slide. Um, so you can really choose any theme. It doesn't matter. It will probably end up looking the same. So I'll just choose bright just to pick one. And um, I'm going to just title this. You can name it whatever you want, but I will just say our trip to Egypt. And then click OK. OK, once you're at this screen, what you'll want to do is go down to the lower left hand corner of your screen. And there you're going to see the maps and backgrounds choice. If you click on that, you'll see a bunch of different maps come up and some different backgrounds. And what we're going to be looking for is the maps that have the red line on them, like these top eight do. Um, the red line are the ones that will move from one location to another. So those are the, kind of the cool ones we want to use. So out of these top eight, um, go ahead and choose whichever one you like the best. And you can kind of look at them and decide which one you think is the coolest. Uh, once you've decided on one, Go ahead and double click on it. And as you can see, when you double click on it, it automatically goes into the pane down here. So now we just have to put in the locations because we want to go from Nebraska to wherever our um, country is that we're going to go to. So if you double click on the actual um, strip down here, you can see up here that you can put in your locations. So we're going to start with Nebraska. And unfortunately, Valentine is too small to be on here, so we'll just pick the state of Nebraska. If you want to, you can even change it down here where it says what to display. You can put Valentine, Nebraska if you want to. And then click Done. And then when we do the two, I'm going to put Egypt in, but if you're doing a different country, obviously you can put anywhere in. And I'm just going to pick the country of Egypt. I'm not going to put any of the cities in or anything. I'm going to put done. Okay, so now we have our two locations in, but you may want to change the name of your presentation. So if you want to change the name that appears, you can double click on the blue line here, and you can see that that allows you to type in here. So now you can put it as whatever you want. Maybe our Egyptian adventure is what you'd like to call it. Whatever you think sounds the best. Then you can go ahead and click enter. And then if you want to see what it looks like from start to finish, you can go to this line here and make sure it has the little hand on it. And then you can slide this over to the front. And you can go over here and a little play button will appear. So you can push play and see what it looks like. So if it looks good to you and everything's spelt right and everything looks the way it's supposed to, um, we just need to save it so that we can put it into our project on my brain shark. So you can go up here and click the share button and then we want to just share it as a file. So you can choose file and you can leave all of this the same, that's fine. And you can just click next and then just save it wherever um, you'll be able to find it. I'm going to save mine on my desktop, but you could save it um, to your Google Drive or wherever Mrs. Gas tells you to. And that should do it. Um, now you'll see you have a file saved right here, and we'll use that to be our first slide in our My Brain Shark presentation. Thank you.